We provide homes for animals that have either been surrendered or confiscated or sometimes transferred to us as orphans, and we provide them lifetime care here. We have three tigers. Rama and Taj came to us by way of the pet trade. One was surrendered in one of the animal shelters, and the other was in a truck stop. What do you think if we were di driving down the road and we saw a tiger, would we just stop and buy it? Where would we put him? Everybody in the state of Texas who is in legal possession of a dangerous wild animal, if they're not a member of a zoological association, they have to register each and every one of those animals every year. We have to provide photographs of the animals every year, and we have to reaffirm with the regulating bodies that all their enclosures are up to standards in terms of being, you know, both appropriate for the animal's needs, as well as to be safe and, and against escape. Whether or not these animals make good pets, I think it's very safe to say that one can never rule out the possibility that a wild animal is going to behave like a wild animal. And what you might be able to get away with today is going to be your death tomorrow. That's why they're wild animals, because they're unpredictable.